everybody, this is Starfox Adventures. This is Summer to do the fourth, and this is me saying, We. Yeah, I just wanted to do that for some reason, I don't know why. But anyway, last time, we managed to go ahead and get through Dark Ice Mines, and get through quite a bit of it, actually. So that way we can open up some levers, or some raised land. But, what does that lead to? What's the purpose? Well, I do know this one. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Then I forgot. Okay. Uh, I don't know how exactly that, how that works or how that goes. But anyway, let's kick this guy's butt. And no, that's not sweeping. That's not sweeping either. Uh, something I feel I should let you know of. You can backflip if you do it right. Yeah. Uh, just backflip, just hit uh, back and X. Uh, the opposite direction in which you're facing an X. Just thought I should let you guys know of that for future reference. And let's kick your butt. Butt kicking a la mode. Let's grab one of these, because we decided to be stupid and fall off. And now that tricky's full, we got almost uh, all of my mushrooms I would want. Uh, we got full health and everything. We will step into this portal. But, where does this go? Actually, before we start this, you might want to have this on instant access. And now we will... And now we will warp. Epic Scott Stone away! No, I'm just kidding. This is Epic Scott Stone. This leads somewhere else. But where does this lead to? Let's find out. Galdon? Boss? Is it boss time? What the heck is a Galdon? And why is Tricky here already? Hey, cool! A statue! I like statues. I'm a fan of sculpture myself. In fact, let's go ahead and get some of these grub tubs over here. Alright. You know what's always fun about having things that are big? It's always fun to make them... Uh... I am supposed to use flame on this, right? Yeah. Use the flame command. Oh, now you're wanting to do it. Okay. Let's destroy the statue! He's got the spell stone. Hey, that's what a spell stone looks like. Okay. That's not a vitamin! What does that simply swallow a key collectible? Well, apparently Galden does. Alright. Because it's time for a boss battle! Yep, we're gonna have some fun with this one. Alright, this is Galdon! Galdon! Uh, uh, you're gonna want to avoid him for the time being. Alright, Tricky, you're saying you can do something, but what are you gonna do? Alright, let's move out of the way here, and then attack the tail! And back up. Hey, he's gonna do some... There we go. My sister's gonna yell and interrupt my recording. I don't know why. Oh, crap. I'm a main character, you can't just swallow me. Hey, there's a spellstone. It's in his uvula. Or whatever that's called. Let's beat the crap out of it. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh yeah, that's not good. Ah, oh, gross. Let's out. Oh crap. He's gonna... Ah. But now you see that. Okay. Now you have to attack his chest area. How you can do that is by using your fire blaster. And the only way to do that effectively is whenever he charges up for an attack, and you'll see that in a minute. Hopefully. 
He'll charge. Yeah, he'll charge up for one of his fireball attacks. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. And you want to launch a whole bunch of fireballs at him. Oh. And then sometimes I'll do that too, just to confuse the crap out of me. I right, stay so a good distance from him. Ah, darn it. Ouch! How come he is getting so close? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. I'm gonna need more, uh... Energy here. Luckily, however, throughout this entire battle, uh, there are places to regain magic energy. So, that's useful. And roll, roll, roll we go, rolling it across the thingamajig. Alright. Alright, I think we got enough magic energy here. Alright. Launch. Got an area of effect. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now we heard it's just enough. He's gonna be like, mm, I'm gonna eat you again. Even though I already ate you once. Alright. So, now that we're in here, let's beat the crap out of this thing again. Ah, those, uh, green thingies hurt you. So. Uh, let's not do that again, shall we? Alright. We destroy his uvula, and in doing so... Oh, no. We get the spell stone. But... He can't burp! He's just like me! He can't burp! But, in either way, he is destroyed, literally, from the inside out. Burp! Ah, oh, there he goes, he does burp. Like, burp! Either way, we win. Oh, you must forgive your father. You must work together to lead the Snowhorn tribe against Scales instead of fighting each other. That's a good point. I will, Fox. Because of you, my people and behold, no longer live as slaves. Look at the upper left hand corner. Okay. We get full health and another health thing, which means you get a heart container. Bing. Planet. And now we have to return our collectible to free crystal. Bing. And luckily, they're nice enough in order to send us straight back to the Arwing. So let's go to the Arwing. Yeah, it doesn't cost fuel cells to go back to the planet. So don't worry about that. I'm not sure if I should leave the Arwing scene to the planet. Guess it's the same one as the one in the very first episode. But if you guys want to see it, then, you know. I'll show this one, and then, uh... If you, you guys can tell me if you want to see more of this or not. Uh, because it's kind of the same thing. Great job, Fox! You saved the Snowhorn tribe and collected the Spellstone! Yep. But it's not over yet. Oh, uh, yeah. You need to return the Spellstone to the Force Point Temple. The Volcano Force Point Temple. Has indicated that it is located beyond Moon Mountain Pass. Okay. I'm sure the Thorntails can point you in the right direction. Pepper out! Alright. Well, we gotta find out where this Moon Mountain Pass thing is, then. Alright. And prepare for Arwing Battle. Weehoo! I like Arwing Battles in Star Fox. Because that's pretty much what Star Fox is. This is a bunch of Arwing Battles. I like Assault though, how they, you know, combined all three of being in a tank and walking and being in an Arwing and sometimes combined all three of them. You better bet your butt it's open. Bomb! Uh, let's blow stuff up. Because blowing stuff up is fun. And let's grab the gold ring here. And fly over this way. Yes, there are mines. And where there are mines, there are minors. And where there are miners, there are underage children. And where there are puns, there's me generally making those puns. Yeah, I'm going. I missed. And I crashed myself. Lovely. 
I don't think I did that good of a job this time. Well, either way, we got a high score. Woohoo! And I didn't even get all ten rings either. Oh, it looks like that guy's worried. Alright, so, on to the volcano. Force point simple. I hope. Here we go. You got to help us. Those horrible shark claws put out our lovely beacons. Ah. Uh. Too dark at night. We be scared of the dark. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, they mentioned the beacons earlier. Right, but in order to return it, we gotta do this first. So, there are three beacons throughout the entire kingdom. Uh, but, here's how you're supposed to relight the beacons. You're gonna need something to start it with, or something to light on fire, and then use Tricky's Flame. So you see these, these things are on fire. So what we wanna do is we wanna knock them out of the trees, and hit them. Come on, get back over here. Get back over here. Quit running! Yeah, and if you get too close, you will catch on fire. And then they'll just disappear, so that's kind of annoying. Let's try that again. Yeah, these things are a pain in the butt. Seriously. Alright, there we go. So, once you hit one, you'll be able to get... Fireweed! Yes, you can smoke this weed to get on fire. No, I'm just kidding. It may come in useful to the Thorntails. Yes, we have yet another collectible. Um, but we need three of these in total. So, we need to catch two more, and I'll... If this takes too long, I'll get this off screen. That's two. Let's get a third one. Nope, get out of the way. Alright, we got our third one. So, now what we need to do is we gotta go to all of the Thorntail areas. Or the Beacon areas. Uh, make sure you have... Tricky has plenty of mushrooms, because we're gonna need them. First of all, what you wanna do is you wanna put the th uh, fire weed on this. And then, what you wanna do is you wanna use Tricky's flame command. And Tricky will light the thing on fire. And that's one beacon. Now then, we gotta head to the other beacons. The other two beacons, uh, the other one is next to the Scott Stone. So we need to go to the epic Scott Stone and bring him a gift because nobody brings him gifts anymore. So what we do is we just head through here, enter the Scott Stone's lair, and the thing is near here somewhere. Oh, that's right, we gotta go in there. Oh, there it is. We'll go in there later. But as for now, we wanna go up through here. Place our weed, and then light said weed on fire. And hopefully we don't get high from this. Alright, now then. The third one is in an area we've never been to before, but if you did some exploring around, you may be able to find it. And it took me a while to find this one, too. Uh, what you gotta do is you got to head over here, and... Head through this area right here. Oh. That's not where it's at? Oh. Well, I must be thinking of something else then. Where's the other beacon then? Oh, wait. I think it's near where the uh, queen is. I think. No, because that one's right there. Well, where the crap's the other beacon then? Uh. Well. I'm at a loss. I feel kind of stupid now. Oh, wait. Maybe it's up there. Yeah, I know, I remember now, it is up there. Yeah, it's at the end of this thing. Okay, so you want to head through this way. Jump across. Jump across. Jump across and get past this mushroom. Jump across. And jump across. In order to hit this switch. That'll release the gate. And then you can come over here and light the beacon. So technically, I was right, but we couldn't get there yet. And then Tricky light it on fire. There we 
we go. The beacons mean so much to my tribe. Please take this. I believe it will help you on your quest. It will help me on my quest. We have a dungeon key. Bing. It's a moon pass key. It will allow you to open the gateway. At least the Volcano Force Point Temple. So you see, you had to do this even beforehand. So, but before we go to the Force Point Temple, I'm going to go ahead and get a few things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feed Tricky. And now that we got full scarabs, uh, let's go to the shop over here. And let's see if we can get some more stuff. Because, you know, having more stuff is always useful. And we come around through here. And head over here. Down to the store. Alright. Could get maps and stuff, but I might do that later. Uh, let's see. What I want is Tricky's ball. You pay this much. I'll pay this much. No, that's too low. All right, I'll pay this much. No, that's too low. Well, fine then. I guess I'll have to buy it at no, market no, price. buy things at market price any or bargain for things anymore. We got Tricky's Ball. It can only be used in certain areas. Tricky will tell you when he can play. If you can play with him lots of times, he will have a surprise for you. And I'll do that sometime later on, but as for now, that's Ocean Force Point Temple. That's We don't know what that is yet. Dragon Rock, we don't know where that is yet. Krizoro Palace map. Well, we might know where that is. What's the surprise? Cape Claw map. Um. Yeah, let's get some maps. Uh, what we want to do is. I'm not going to the map room, am I? Oh, I am in a map room. Okay. Uh, oh, Thorntail Hollow map. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. You pay this much. I pay this much. You could get these any time in a game. I'm gonna get them now because, well, this is the Thorntail Hollow map. Use it the PDA to zoom in and out of the map to reveal all the hidden caves and passageways. So now, well, it won't show it here because we're in the store. Oh, choose something. Oh, get out! Yeah, yeah. Moon. Pa yeah, we want the Moon Pass map. I pay this much. No, that's too low. I'll pay this much. No, that's too low. Well, forget you then. I'll pay this okay, much. I'll sell it to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got a map. Yeah, from now on, I'll just buy maps off screen. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of this stuff. What we want now... Oh, that's the Dark Eyes Mines map, if you want to buy that for Dark Eyes Mines. But we don't need that, because we're never going to go back there ever again. Snowhorn Waste, and Volcano Force Point. There we go. You pay this much. Can I pay this much instead? Okay, I'll show you. Alright. Yep, it's a map. It'll say the same thing for all the other maps. Alright, so. Now that we got our maps. Uh, now we're going to head our way out of here. Because, well. We don't really need them. Nope. There's the exit. Alright. Uh, so, now that we have the exit. And jump down through here. And head on up. We'll be on our way to our next area. Uh... I'll make this a little bit longer because, yeah, we defeated the boss and we did a mission, but we didn't really do much. It's raining. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Something, something, something out of bed. Roll, roll, roll. Alright. Oh, I forgot to do the thing at the Scott Stone. I'll have to do it later. Yeah, make sure you have bomb spores. Always make sure you have bomb spores at all times. Uh... 
Fire at the controller? Thank you. Alright. We will continue forward. And... Okay. So... One thing you want to do is that this is not the correct way to go. But you can get a fuel cell over here. So, good to know if you're collecting fuel cells. Uh, we'll pass this guy. Now then, here's what you have to do here. Uh, you're gonna walk over this, but you're gonna fall. And you have a limited health meter. And I think I'm going the right way here. So we jump on these two pillars. And if you don't make it out of here in time, you die. But as you go up, you know, you regenerate. Yeah, okay. I grabbed the other fuel cell to make sure that I got the right one. So, we made it through the right one. Let's check out the map here. Yep, see, here's our map. Uh, we can zoom in and out using the D-pad. That's as far as we can zoom in, apparently. And we'll be on our way this way. And here we are. Welcome to Moon Mountain Pass. Uh, the place where it's so creepy. It's just plain out creepy. It's, it's vastly different than the other areas in this game. Whoa! And all the way up, we have a giant sharp claw. Somebody coming. Like, wake up, somebody coming! Alright. Prepare for Donkey Kong! The arcade game. Because what we will have to do is we will have to dodge these barrels. You won't die if you get hit by these barrels, but... Uh... It is a good idea just to dodge them out of principle. Uh... And not getting hit and collecting a fuel cell right there. Uh, we dodge the geysers, dodge barrel, roll, and once you get close enough, they'll stop uh, throwing barrels over at you. And if you didn't do that quest, you would not be able to get past this point. So now we can head on through and continue on our way through. Uh, but if we continue forward. We will not be able to continue forward because there are two enemies that we have to kill. The two enemies we have to kill are the enemies that we saw earlier, which would be over there. So, we'll come over this way. We'll grab that. Then, we'll head in here. And we'll attack the smaller or normal one first. Bam. Alright, now, this is a giant sharp claw. They're very defensive. And they take a lot more hits than a normal sharp claw in order to defeat. Normally, you can do, like, two full combos and defeat a sharp claw. With those, you have to use, like, two and a half in order to kill them all. So, that's kind of interesting, I guess. It's good to know for future reference. Because you'll be seeing some of those. Uh, don't worry about these craters, we'll worry about them later, and trust me, they're annoying. But we don't have the ability to handle those yet. But we will. Eventually. Now we are in the area that leads to the Force Point Temple. Uh, what you have to do here is we have to platform like a Mario game. Uh, I always wait for those things to go in, but I saw them go in as I was walking up, so I just decided to go. Because it's a pain in the butt to deal with. Yeah, if you go over here, you can't go through. So, what you want to do is you want to come over this way. And I'll wait for the fire to show up and disappear. So that way you can come down and go on your way through. Fire bats! Fire bats are annoying. And you can't really handle them yet. Alright, we have ourselves a rocket boost pad, which will allow us to be Rocket Man! Rocket Man! And down through here. We can't get these two yet, but we can get this. 
And we get ourselves a fairy. So that's pretty nice. Pretty simple fairy you can get. So if you haven't been collecting fairies, that's a good place to start. Uh, now you have to go up an escalator while it's randomly shifting directions and play Donkey Kong at the same time. And then the other door will open, so that way you can go on through. And you'll want to leave in the same manner. Almost same manner that you came in. I want to climb up this thing. Now then. Ah, that's better. Dr. Thunder is pretty good. It's not as fizzy as Dr. Pepper, but that's okay. Alrighty. Let's kill the, kill the mushroom. Kill mushroom. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so here we are, everybody. Welcome to the Volcano Force Point Temple. We have to present our spell stone in order to get through here. So let's go ahead and use it. Get used to this, because you'll have to do it a lot. Alright, so now we did that. Uh, let's defeat this guy. Yeah, he's better armed than most sharp claws. In fact, that's why I do the normal... Uh, that's why I do the... That's why I sometimes do the... Darn it. Come on. Die. There you go. Okay, so, uh, if you read the description, it says you have to kill, hit the same color as whatever those things are. However, the normal color of our fire blaster is red, so how are we going to hit those? Well, that's what the changing color of fire is for. You see, if you hit it through the color of fire, then your fire blaster will change color to that color. And hit detection is pretty decent, so you don't have to worry about missing. You just have to time it right. So we want green as soon as we can get there. Yeah, that's the wrong color. So hold it. Hold your position. There we go. So you notice it changed to a green color when it went through a green flame. Get used to that mechanic because you're going to have to do it at least a few more times throughout the game. And then we have to use our spell stone in order to get in, even though we already used our spell stone to get in the first place. Uh, so yeah, this has been about... Yeah, 20 some minutes. Almost 30 minutes. So I think it's gonna good to end things here. So, we managed to defeat Galdon. We managed to get back to Thorntail Hollow. We managed to relight the beacons, get through Moon Mountain Pass, and enter the Force Point Temple. But what shall we do in a Force Point Temple? Find out next time on Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. This is Sir Random Dude, the fourth, and this is me saying see you later, and sorry for the lack of beings. Bing, see ya. And God bless you all.